and welcome back. This video I'm going to be starting to work on the electrical wiring for the right wing. Now the right wing wiring includes the nav ID lights, the uh, landing and taxi lights, and then also the automatic pilot servo for the ailerons. So it's got two separate wiring harnesses that uh, both terminate at the root of, of the wing. Uh, there's the bracket that you installed on the number one rib where both of the terminal blocks for these, these wire bundles are both uh, housed. First thing you're gonna do, and I highly recommend if you haven't already gotten one of these, is get a label maker. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was somewhere between 75 and 125 bucks, if I recall correctly. Um, but you can get both just the sticker type label, but you can also get the uh, shrink wrap tubing labels. And so for the wiring bundles, I highly recommend uh, labeling each wire at, at, at every connector. That way, later on, if you decide that you need to change a wire or... Uh, you want to update something uh, you can you can easily identify where you know what the wires are um, I know that my grandfather-in-law when he built his RV4 he had simply used uh, masking tape essentially and uh, certainly after 20 years of flying it's it's no longer legible even if, if the tape is even there to try to read which which leads or what so I would highly recommend getting one of these. It's it's pretty easy to use, um, and and it makes it a lot easier. Just get a uh, the the shrink wrap tubing and a, and a heat gun, and you can label any wire. So this is the uh, as I talked about the the bracket that the leads uh, terminate at, and this is where you'll put the connector. The nav ID light goes on the bottom, uh, open to square and the automatic pilot connector will go on the top square. I believe this is a lead that goes to um, ground. I believe it's a ground point on the rib. I've heard some folks uh, mention that you want to uh, terminate that ground lead onto the fuselage rather than the uh, wing rib there. Uh, if anyone has any input on that, I'd, I'd appreciate hearing it. I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. It seems to me that it would make it a lot easier to terminate it at the wing rib instead of trying to attach it to the fuselage. Um, if you ever need to take the wing off, it, it's not a wire that would be hanging. Um, and electrically, with the wing attached, it should be no different in my mind. Um, so yeah, if, if anybody has any input one way or the other, uh, that'd be something I'd, I'd be interested in hearing. So now just uh, routing the wiring all the way down to the uh, nav ID light connector. Um, at the very end of the spar, there's that little tab with the, a rectangle cutout. That's where the connector for the nav ID light will terminate. Um, I think that uh, I might end up using the top set of, of holes where the uh, plastic sleevings are. They're not used. Uh, I was I put everything through the bottom holes um, where I have these wires going through, including the automatic pilot leads, and everything fit through there. So the the plastic sleevings, the wire protectors on the top end of the ribs, are not used. I might go down and get some conduit, some plastic conduit, and take those pieces out and run that conduit through, and then run some, um, some basically some some fish wire uh, through that conduit. So that way, if there's something I want to add on later, then it'll be a whole lot easier to use that conduit to guide the wires through than trying to uh, fish, you know, through, you know, without the conduit there to guide the wires. So that might be something that I do before I close this out. I don't have a whole lot left on this wing. Um, I, I've since, uh, as of editing this video, I've completed the flap. The aileron is complete. 
and uh, just have a few minor things to finish up. So I, I, I need to work on the bottom skins, but I might hold off on that just to make sure that there's nothing else that I want to work on while it's still open. So here I'm working on the automatic pilot wiring harness and as is typical, um, the electrical schematics in the plans aren't necessarily up to date. So if you're working on the electrical wiring, and I ran into this in the, uh, the rudder wiring harness, um, there's a download on Van's website. Go to their website and download the actual wiring schematics for the whole plane. Um, and uh, it, it has the updated connector lists so that's what I ended up having to use to, to try to clarify where to connect these at. Anyway, unfortunately, the video ended before I was able to finish uh, wiring the rest of this. So I didn't get most of the wiring of the automatic pilot harness. So I'm going to go ahead and let this video run out here. My next video will be working on the flaps. So we'll see how that goes. Again, for those that continue to watch these videos, I appreciate it. If you get a chance, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the alarm bell and you'll get notifications whenever I put these videos out. We'll see you guys next time.